Every year, Birthright sends 50,000 young Jews on 10-day, all-expenses-paid trips to Israel that they claim are apolitical. But my experience taught me that, in fact, Birthright has an explicitly right-wing political agenda. Visiting Israel in 2018 and not talking about Israel's military occupation of Palestinians is like visiting the Deep South in the 1950s and not talking about Jim Crow segregation. Birthright consistently tries to hide the occupation from its participants, instead giving a false narrative intended to get my generation to support a violent system that goes against so many of our Jewish values. I grew up with a deep commitment to social justice, and that meant asking hard questions when I saw something wasn't right. My grandparents are Holocaust survivors, and their stories have always driven me to fight for justice and stand up for the freedom and dignity of all people. This spring, I saw all the violence happening in Gaza, when the Israeli army killed more than a hundred Palestinian protesters and used live ammunition to injure thousands more. I was horrified by this outburst of violence. And I went to protests on my college campus with If Not Now, a movement led by young American Jews to end our community's support for the occupation. With If Not Now, I learned how these killings were linked to the 51-year-long occupation of the Palestinian people. To try to better understand what was going on in Israel-Palestine and to see the place firsthand, I decided to sign up for a Birthright Israel trip. When I got there, I saw immediately that Birthright was giving a one-sided story that actually supports the Israeli occupation. They handed out maps without the West Bank on them, and in fact, they have a formal policy of not allowing Palestinians to speak to their tours. The truth is, Birthright pushes this pro-occupation agenda because it's mostly funded by the Israeli government and by right-wing American donors. Sheldon Adelson, a right-wing billionaire who has given millions to Donald Trump, has also contributed at least $200 million to Birthright itself. This is not a coincidence. They know that if they showed us what's really happening in Israel, my generation would want to be on the right side of history and join the growing movement taking meaningful action to end the occupation. From day one, it was clear to me that the other people on my trip wanted to know more about the occupation and hear directly from Palestinians, but our itinerary purposefully left this out, using the Israeli government's talking points instead of the truth when talking about the conflict. I made a choice. Seven other Birthright participants and I decided that instead of taking part in Birthright's pro-occupation agenda, we would leave the trip to meet with Palestinians living under occupation every day. The Sumerian family, who have lived under threat of eviction in East Jerusalem for the past 25 years, longer than I've been alive, invited us into their home to tell us about their experiences. We heard from them about how settlers and the government have harassed them, and how the occupation keeps them constantly in a state of limbo, never able to plan for the future. We deserve the truth. The occupation is a daily nightmare, and Birthright, while claiming to be apolitical, is supporting and upholding that violent system that denies Palestinians freedom and dignity. Our generation deserves better than Birthright.